I love helping my friends. I love watching them do neat things, stuff they can't do, and then all of a sudden they can do it. I learned a lot from them. Like, so what if they're different? Who cares? You just gotta relate to them. They're people, they're not things, they're not objects, they're human beings. I think Chrissy has made the ARC a better place by just leading by example. Uh, that is one of the most wonderful things about working here is people lead by example. And Chrissy has tuned into that and has incorporated that into her leadership. And it's a beautiful thing to watch. Chrissy's made the ARC a better place just by really being herself and being enthusiastic and really taking the time to get to know people. There's the baseball team, the Renegades, but there's also the ARC of Mid-Hudson has a self-advocacy program. They have officers. I have been president now two years, two terms, was voted unanimously. A lot of my friends are in it, so it comes not always easy, but the advisors are really good. So if I don't know something, they're usually right there. When I was working with Chrissy, I felt like she would be such a good fit for the Renegades. And so she knew a lot of the people, started going to the meetings, and then became president. Mara told me, how would you like to be president? I said, okay, my me. And she said she saw something in me, like she saw something the minute I walked in the door. I was not surprised to see Chrissy elected as president because she had become so well respected amongst her peers and they often relied on her for support. And I watched that uh, happen more frequently. So when she was elected president, uh, it, was a, it was a great thing to watch. The Renegades are made up of people of all different ages, all different learning abilities. We basically do like conferences. We have meetings here every third Thursday of the month. The Renegades do a lot in the community. We've done fundraisers, talent shows, field trips, parties. Chrissy has participated in what's called Lobbying Day a couple of times up in Albany. It is an all-day affair where she sits with elected officials and advocates for the needs of people with disabilities. And it's a big deal and has become very comfortable speaking and discussing these issues and advocating for her peers. I don't like seeing people stepped on, put down. People are afraid of what's different. They're afraid of our guys. I, I don't like that. I, I was raised from a very young age that something's different, you leave it alone. You don't be like, ugh. And she makes sure that everyone is included and if there's a chance for us to open up an activity to like people in the agency she was always for that because you know kind of like the more the merrier and the more people know about how they can advocate for themselves you know the better off their lives will be i was in um arc long before it was arc I had job coaches, I had a job. I was in the workshop actually, um, and they decided it was too easy for me. I wanted to prove them wrong. It wasn't easy. <laughs> I had a lot of friends. Some of them are still in Renegades. Um, I went from working on the shop floor to admin's assistant. Then I got a chance to be a receptionist. And that in itself was a big experience. I learned a lot about people. I nominated Chrissy Beergens for this award because I have watched her grow from a shy self-advocate into a powerful and confident self-advocate leader. Chrissy is so deserving of this award because she really cares about everyone and, and is very thoughtful and considerate. I want to be like a leader like they are. I want to be remembered as someone important. I want to do all I can do while I'm around. I just want to be a person. I want to do some good while I'm young. And being a young person and doing good nowadays, you don't hear that, but you will. Our guys, they're going to go somewhere too. With the right group of people, they can do anything. I love them all. I'm glad I'm a renegade. I'm proud of it. I'm going to do it as long as I can.